usually I should say positive things in this interview, but I'm a kind of this person, so I am not satisfied. That's my honest opinion, because we couldn't become a champion in, in the league. It has been for 14 years as a league. They need time, even maybe media supporters and players and managers. All people need, need time. Well, Kevin Musk had almost five years in charge of victory. I think he's uh, clever and think very deeply about all players. I wasn't here if uh, he isn't manager. I think so. I think it, it, it will happen one day. I want to say he's a great person. As a human, when we couldn't make results this season, he always did his best for the team, not himself. That's not easy. Meantime, Honda slips it through. Barbarousas. When I saw him first time, he wasn't comfortable to play striker. Now he's a top scorer of the team. Tony is still young. He already one of the best talent in Australia, so he has good future. If I, one thing I want to give him advice more, he should be more selfish. He is a too good guy. That's good on the out of the field, but sometimes too good guy is not good for on the field. And he's on here, Cam Sober. He's a good example for young player. I think even just less one year, he showed people how to succeed. The Australian young players like Tommy and Sova should dream for playing Europe in near future. Should Melbourne Victory fans be as excited as they are about having Keisuke Honda in a victory shirt? Absolutely. He's quality. He's the biggest sign-in for the league since Del Piero, for me. If they expect the same level like Europe, they will be disappointed. They should know still Australian League has been just 14 years old, so it's normal. On the, oh, what a goal! And like environment of the training facilities, also not like Yoro. I've been seeing Japanese supporters every day after training in the field. <laughs> That's really weird. I don't get used to it yet. <laughs> When we played against Asian team, we couldn't succeed. The league and everyone have to think how to break salary cap. It has cons as well, but it has a lot of pros. So I want to say I'm grateful to all supporters for Melbourne victories and even the fans of the other competitors. And I still don't decide where I will play next year. But as I mentioned, I knew that I stay just for a year. So no one surprised, no one disappointed. I hope so. Of course, we all really want to win this grand final. I feel a little bit like re revenge because we couldn't become champion. And victory are too clear at the home of the league leaders. I want to be happy with all players and the supporters.